Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. So in today's video, I want to show you real quick how you can uh, record uh, using Procreate on the iPad Pro. So just so you know, the way that you're seeing my interface here is that I've actually uh, tied the lightning cable that came with it, the one that plugs into the battery charger, is into the iPad Pro. The USB is into the computer. I actually got it going right through my Cintiq monitor on the side, which still works, you know. Generally, you might want to go right into the, the USB itself because you're going to get a little bit better speed than a secondary USB through another device. So just keep that in mind. That can also yield uh, mixed results. So at any rate, that's how you're seeing my interface. And I'm using QuickTime on my Mac, which obviously works well with iPad, uh, the iPad because they're all, you know, Mac products. Um, so I use QuickTime. QuickTime has a setting where you can simply just go... Uh, new movie and then you can control what the QuickTime is reading from and that's why it's reading from the iPad and that all works. So on a PC I can't vouch for that part but the part that I want to show you here is actually how you export a video so I had people ask you know how did you do this time-lapse video off your iPad it's right here under Procreate so right here you just simply go to the gear icon or that little wrench and uh, you go to share right there export video it's going to say exporting. It's going to take a second, a few seconds. There it goes. And just like that, it exports it. And then it says, where do you want to save it to? I'll just hit save video. And what it's going to do there, uh, you can save, as you saw, the options for Dropbox and all that stuff was in there. iCloud, I don't use any of that. I use Dropbox, but I don't use, uh, I try not to use iCloud or whatever at the moment. Um, Cause I feel like they're like forcing me to try to use it or whatever. But um, but then the other thing is that by saving it like I just did, it immediately went to my uh, photos uh, folder. Um, so, you you know, and like I said, you can use a Dropbox or whatever, but it's just going to save that there, and now you have a time-lapse video of it. Okay, so now that you've exported the video, uh, let me show you how to find that. So just basically hit the Home button on the front of your iPad Pro, scroll over to your Photos, Click that and you'll see it's right there under today and it shows you some of the other previous uh, sketches I've worked on and then go ahead and click that hit play and it'll start with the image where it was currently at and then there you go it starts showing you the uh, time-lapse version so it's as simple as that it's uh, really straightforward really easy to do uh, procreate just made it just you know mindless it really really easy to do so that you can get right in there and start working and creating and drawing uh, Batman characters with very large uh, hands, like I did here. But hey, you know what? Large hands are probably good for a superhero because he could really uh, punch somebody's face off. So. so yeah, at any rate, so that's how I, I do what I do. And you see it starts off very crude, almost embarrassing how bad my sketch <laughs> is in the beginning. But uh, hopefully with the layers of refinement that I try to add, it's not that bad. Um, but it, it, it's really nice working in this program with this setup and not having to worry so much about all these different things. Now, keep in mind for the video that I'm making here for you today, I'm using QuickTime to record uh, the voiceover and the display of the screen. I'm using Camtasia to compile it all together and edit it. So, you know, if you're going to do those types of videos, then yeah, there's still a little bit more to it. But if you just want to make some cool time lapse and you're not looking to do a whole lot of other stuff and uh, edit work and narrations or whatever you can pretty much just get away with it um, with just this you know so uh, so for that uh, particular reason I think this setup is, is fantastic you know for making this stuff and sharing it really quickly um, and what it's doing is just recording the strokes on the the tablet so it's I don't think it's so much of a frame rate uh, and I think that's why it can in turn save save it in a really great resolution and not create these large, uh, obsessively large files. Um, at least that's my understanding so far. You'd have to do more research to really understand that, but that's, I think that's the gist of it. So at any rate, this is my short video to kind of show you that. Hopefully it's uh, informed you a little bit and helped you with this process if you're thinking about doing more with this. And uh, as always, you know, just like, share, subscribe. Um, I bring new videos each week and let me know what you'd like to see in the future because I'm always listening and that's what I try to get on my schedule and bring to you in the future. So as always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.